first. Former Georgia Congresswoman and Green Party presidential candidate Cynthia McKinney has made several trips to Libya, where the North American and European allies recently killed a son and three grandchildren of leader Muammar Gaddafi. McKinney says President Obama has taken the United States to new heights of criminality. If there was anyone who doubted that our president was a war criminal, there is no doubt anymore. Our president has firmly put himself in the war criminal camp. Not only was that murder, it was cold-blooded murder, and it was the murder of three children who had absolutely nothing to do with the beef that the leaders of NATO have against the government of Libya. And not a word of condolence from the black man in the White House. Well, I think it's very clear that the black man in the White House is as bad or worse than any of the white men who have been in the White House. And that's why it's so important for people to not get swept up in the hysteria that is created around an election. I have said it too many times, but politics is not a beauty contest. It is not a popularity contest. It is not a horse race. Politics is about policy and power. And if we vote or anyone cast their vote on the basis of those other things, oh, I like the way he dresses, oh, I like the way he looks, oh, I like the way she dresses, if that's the criterion that's used to judge whether or not one is going to cast a vote for this candidate or that candidate or for this candidate or against the candidate, then one is just playing at the game of politics and uh, playing it incorrectly. And politics can be a life and death game. Colonel Gaddafi and his wife were at the residence when the bombs hit. It is against international law and against U.S. law to assassinate heads of state. Absolutely. It is against the U.S. law and it is against international law. That's why I say that our president uh, has become a war criminal. And so now what is the response of the American people to this unfortunate circumstance? There will be a whipping up of hysteria once again in 2012 in November probably it will come to us in about September of 2012 the hysteria will begin to be whipped up by the Madison Avenue whiz kids and the slick brochures will come out and the American people will once again be corralled into voting either Democrat or Republican when neither of those political parties represents their true aspirations for peace and justice and respect for our planet. Neither of those parties. And so casting a vote for those political parties and candidates who are running on those political lines is going to be, uh, again, once again, practicing the politics, politics of self-abnegation something that I think uh, particularly black Americans and progressives in this country can ill afford. United Nations Resolution 1973 didn't authorize NATO to assassinate Colonel Gaddafi. Well, uh, one could argue in the appropriate legal venue that the United Nations Security Council action was illegal and that everything that has flowed from that action has also been illegal. The sale of the oil constitutes a theft from the Libyan people. Uh, that could be argued in court. The uh, seizing of the assets such that those assets cannot be used for the intended purpose, which was for the African Union, is also something that I have been told uh, could be litigated in the international courts. And so it is time that legal action be launched to stop this. In addition, we just need to launch people action. And people action does not always mean marching in the streets. I'm not saying that we 
should no longer march in the streets. I do believe that there is a role for that. But that is not the only strategy that one should employ when we are confronted with this multiplicity of wrongs. Every wrong should be resisted in the most appropriate way of resistance. We are not doing that. And, of course, the progressive community has basically uh, found itself a bunker in which to hide so as to not be hit by a drone itself. But uh, this president is being protected by certain leadership elements of the progressive community, and that is wrong, because at the end of the day, it's about principle, not personality. So you don't see a dropping away of progressive support for this president? I think um, when the time comes to whip up the, the, the frenzy, that we will see the same uh, characters who were there whipping it up in 2008, they will be back despite their disappointments. Some of them have expressed those disappointments. They'll, they'll be back doing the same thing again. And that applies to black politics as well? Well, I haven't seen other than black is back. You could probably name them on one hand, the blacks who dissent from the policies of this president those very policies that have enriched the rich and pauperized the already poor.